I often say it's super important that you draw a picture. So we've got a 24 kilogram loudspeaker suspended one meter below a ceiling. So I'm gonna have my loudspeaker here, just as a dot. And the gap between it and the ceiling, we'll put the ceiling here, this is one meter. But it's being held, it's not being, this is not a rope, that's just a distance. It's held by two ropes, I'll keep, make the ropes, that are 3.10 meters long, right? So they're both 3.10 meters. And of course, what you've got is there is the weight, which is the, this is the weight, and the weight is mg. In this case, that's 24 times 9.8 which is 235 newtons. Now, if you think about this, we've got um, the, the red lines, the tension, if you will, is this direction. I'm putting green arrows. But what's happening is it's both pulling it to the right and pulling it to the left and also pulling it up. And I could call this, if you will, TY. And these are both, since they are equally lengthed ropes, then we can solve the problem is that the weight has to equal to 2 times ty. But what is ty? Um, ty would be equal to t, and then it would be sine, because it's opposite, this is the opposite angle of, of the theta. So we can say this equals to 2 t sine theta. Because the question is, what is the tension in each of the cables? They're the same length, so you're going to have the same tension. So this is the solution. But then now we have to say, well, what's theta? How do you find theta? Well, we know that this, this length here is 1 meter, and this hypotenuse is 3 meters, or you could also say this is 1 meter. And so you can use, uh, again, sine, cosine, and tangent to find what theta is. You'll have to do an inverse. So how did I do? I think I did inverse sine. I said sine negative 1. This I type in my calculator of 1 over 3.10, I believe, gives me, because that's going to give me what this angle is. And that gives me the angle. And then I plug that into here. And then I can solve for T.